<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Inside Indiana Overtime. John Byron Fine, Alex McCarthy. Uh, and we just witnessed an Indiana program record. Uh, the Hoosiers hit 18 threes uh, en route to beating Minnesota here tonight, 90 to 71. Uh, the final three, of course, came from Troy Williams because of who else would hit the, the you know, record breaking three? Yeah. He actually had two tonight, uh, the only two he took. Two for two. Um, and looked, it, they looked very smooth. It looked like the, the Troy that People were talking about, you know, the off season he shot whatever the number was, like 10,000 10, threes or whatever it was. Uh, but we hadn't seen it this year. He only had, um, I think, six attempts from outside go coming into tonight, and then he hit both of them tonight. Uh, James Blackman led the way, though. Uh, James Blackman and Robert Johnson had huge bounce back games after um, really, really, really struggling. I mean, that's like an understatement to say they struggled from before against uh, Maryland last week, and tonight. Blackman and Johnson, um, yeah. Blackman was 6 for 10, uh, Johnson was 5 for 8 from 3, and it just seemed like, you know, every time they let go of the ball, it was going in tonight. Uh, Maryland, or Minnesota, rather, just didn't really seem to have an answer. I mean, even contested threes were going in. Uh, Blackman was hitting absolutely everything. It was just, yeah. uh, it was a performance that literally nobody has ever seen uh, from the Indiana team. That's true. We saw history. We did. We did. Um, <coughs> So yeah, Indiana got out to a rough start. Uh, Minnesota led early, 14 to six, and made seven of its first nine shots. Uh, and then something happened, and Indiana just went off. 90 points, um, really great offensive performance. Um, you mentioned uh, James Blackman uh, had 24 points, a game high. Uh, Johnson and uh, Williams had 19 points each. Um, and who might get lost in this is Yogi Ferrell, who only had seven points and was one of six. Uh, shooting the three, but had uh, career high 11 assists, um, and it just seemed early on uh, that Minnesota um, they're trying to get uh, get up and I use drill when they had the ball. Uh, they played good defense early, and then Yogi just seemed to uh, take over. It's not the right word, but just find ways mm -hmm. uh, to create and get open shots for his teammates. Yeah, and he, he's been doing a a better job of that this year. I, in a lot of for a lot of reasons, just he has more guys around him to spread the floor. He has guys like. Uh, Johnson and Blackman, who are going to hit open shots, and you know, and, and therefore produce more assists for for Farrell. Um, but he's all, he also just seems to um, be more confident in in the whole the the team as a whole on the floor, and um, just kind of uh, is able to trust guys when when he passes out, when he kicks it out. He knows that he doesn't have to take every shot, you know, in every game and things like that. There will be off nights like there were against Maryland, where Yogi's going to have to do it all, but. Um, in a lot of the games this year, he's been able to um, kind of fit fit into the flow of the offense, create the flow of the offense, and, mm -hmm. and create an Indiana team that's one of the most efficient in the country and one of the highest scoring in the country. Um, but yeah, it, and Minnesota's yeah. defense was good. Uh, yeah. I believe fourth and adjusted whatever Ken Palm rating that is. And I think like second in steals. Second game in steals. Like, um, yeah, yeah IU did have 18 turnovers, um, but the threes are going to highlight over anything else. Yeah. Um, there was... Um, Troy Williams got hurt at the end of the first half, uh, didn't return when he came back, or didn't return the first half, came back in the second half. Uh, Jordan Fuchs played his first IU minutes um, of his career. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but 18 three-pointers, school record, uh, very impressive. And we didn't think they were going to do it. Um, at least I didn't. I know Johnson made his three with about a minute and a half left. Yeah. Uh, to tie the record. To yeah. tie the record. Uh, and then Yogi had a steal and gave a layup to Blackman. Um, so really on yeah. IU's last possession, uh, Troy shot a three and went in, and everybody went wild. Yeah, that's, that's true. The people who were who were left here, the, it wasn't, you know, the student turnout was uh, not very good at all tonight. Then the story of the. Uh, yeah, yeah, all year it's kind of been been like that. Um, but won't be like so. that Thursday because it's a Thursday Purdue. night and Purdue is in town. True, true. Uh, we'll be here obviously as well. And uh, yeah, excited to, to see what Indiana's going to be able to do in that uh, kind of revenge grudge match or whatever uh, against Purdue. Uh, but yeah, that's the next you'll see of us. Uh, thanks for watching again tonight. Uh, Indiana 90, Minnesota 71, 18 threes. 18 threes. That's kind of the story. So uh, we'll talk to you later, and uh, thanks for watching.